All right, so since we can't actually go out and play, I got the, I thought I'd make a tier list. So here today we got the Basketball Boys Top 20 Power Rankings. Now, first up, the honorable mention is Keen Simpson because he hasn't actually played with the Basketball Boys, but he's in the group chat, and I haven't seen him play since, like, elementary school. So, yeah, I'd put him at honorable mention. Um, so number starting off at number 20, we have Caleb Scroggums, also known as Sergeant Bull. And I've only played with him at um, St. Joe. And he was just wanting to shoot around. He didn't actually want to play. So coming in at the number 19 spot, we have Carter Williams, better known as Seat Up Gaming. And when he pulled up at Musgrove, he actually had some lockdown D, not going to lie. And um, he passes the ball a lot, so he's a good teammate. So that'll put him ahead of Sargent for sure. Number 18, we have Benjamin Cincy. His skill level is a little bit greater than Carter at shooting-wise. and But he's only a freshman, so he's got plenty of time to improve. At number 17, we have Nathan Jones. Now, he'd probably be higher on this list, but... Again, when I played with him and Sergeant at St. Joe, he just shot around, so I uh, don't have much to go off of. At number 16 spot, we have Harrison Hahn. And now when I played with Harrison at the high school, he ha showed a lot of heart and hustle. So yeah, he's definitely better than the previous on the list. Coming into the top 15, at number 15, we have Jude Alexander, a.k.a. Judy Patootie. Um, yeah, he's got some handles, and he's played a lot with us. He's got a lot of experience, but, yeah, he's got time to improve, maybe grow a little bit. At number 14, we have Jonas Burkhart. He's definitely more of a soccer player, but when I played with him at um, the high school, he was actually drilling some threes. He has a kind of a, a straight shot. It doesn't really have much arch to it, but it goes in a lot of the time, so. At number 13, we have Hayden Travis. He, now, Hayden, man, he, he can clean up and get those boards. You know, he's a he's just an all-around player. And, yeah, I think number 13 is a good spot for him. Number 12, we have Clayton Siders. Now, this is Clayton with his hoodie on, of course, because Clayton with the hoodie off, that's just a whole nother level. And, yeah, that that's just a glitch in the game you can't even put him on a tier ranking and so number 12 for clayton at the number 11 spot we have ian wall you know you got to keep the Walski twins close together and yeah ian wall he's definitely a sharp shooter he can drill those threes and yeah number 11 good spot for him all right coming in in the top 10 starting off we have eli willis um, he's definitely improved on a three-point shot. Like, he can actually, he can nail those threes a lot of the time now, and even in your face. So, yeah, number 10, good spot. Number 9, Kate Irwin. Pretty good, dominant in the post. Yeah, he's got a good, a good shot. He'll just stick up his arms, heave that ball up, and somehow it'll go in. Um, number 8, we have Noah McCorby. And Noah corner specialist for sure he'll be making those threes like they're nothing um and if you're playing um a pickup game and you pick him he can take over sometimes and he'll just he'll be locked in he'll carry your team to victory all right number seven Rhett Hancock now this is the Rhett at his best potential because like if he actually tries yeah he can he can get rebounds, he can finish in the paint, uh, everything like that. So, yeah. And his fadeaway, a uh, really good fadeaway. So, yeah, I'll put him at number seven. At number six, you got yours truly. Um, I don't think I have to explain myself there. Um, number five, we have. Starting off the top five now, we got Rylan Mosby. Um, he's definitely got some great handles. Um, yeah, he's got the handles. He can just put you on a spin cycle, cross you up, 
for some jelly layups. Yeah, pretty great player. Number four, Connor Irwin. Um, he can pretty much do it all. And man, if beyond the three point line, whew, he can light you up. And um, yeah, just I think number four is a great spot for him. He's just going to get better and better. All right, starting off with the top three. At three, we have Hayden Laughlin. Um, when he played at Musgrove, yeah, he can he can definitely go lights out. Um, got a decent three-point shot and definitely can post up. Yeah. All right, here's the top two. And at number two, we have Garrett Wright. Definitely the one of the best at posting up. And, yeah, watch out. He'll be throwing some elbows. Um so yeah it's pretty hard to guard him he, he just go full try hard dominate in the post and last but not least you know it was coming number one we got logan mcvicker definitely the best all-around player he's got he's got the handles he can definitely make threes beyond the art and yeah post up everything so whenever the basketball play boys play if he's not captain He's pretty much always the number one pick. So yeah, thanks for listening to my tier list. I got nothing nothing but love and respect for everybody on this list. And yeah, you guys should make your own. Tell me what I got wrong. Tell me what I got right. And yeah, hopefully we can actually go out and play soon after all this corona bullshit. So thanks for listening. And yeah, catch you later. Peace.